Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is. But we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, I can't keep up with everything. Things are moving so fast at a rate I have never seen it out before. The convergence is off the charts. Bible prophecy is leaping off the pages of the Bible. You know, Jesus in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, especially in verses 6 to 8, right? When his disciples asked him what the signs of the end would be, what would be the signs of the end, right? Jesus then goes on to tell them the signs that would precede his second coming, which is at the end of the seven-year tribulation period. And one of those things in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, Jesus said that there would be wars and rumors of wars, or another translation renders it threats of wars. Folks, just look around the world right now. The wars and rumors of wars or threats of wars is off the charts. I mean, you have Russia that invades Ukraine. You have that war, okay? Then you have the threats between Russia, uh, Ukraine, the NATO nations, threats of nuclear war. You have North Korea and South Korea, the threat of war right there, all right? You have the threats um, between Russia, China, threatening the United States, all right? And we've been hearing it, and also Israel, Look at what's going on right now in Israel, especially with the threats from Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad. We see a war coming against the nation of Israel uh, very soon. But what we've also been hearing a lot about for the last few months is the increased tensions between China and Taiwan. Right? We've seen a lot of uh, China interference, uh, especially around you know the Taiwanese waters right there. Right, and we've seen the constant threats that China is preparing uh, to invade Taiwan. And then I got this today. Thank you to all of you that sent me this. This is from Blaze Media. Uh, there's a lot of other places, including the Times of India, that had released this. Uh, you can go research it yourself. Uh, this is just an article titled, Leaked Audio from a Top Secret Meeting Confirms the Chinese Military is Preparing to Invade Taiwan. Listen to this, folks. According to leaked audio from a top-secret meeting of Chinese military officials, China may soon launch an invasion of Taiwan. The Times of India reported that an audio clip revealing dialogue between officials from China's military, the People's Liberation Army, surfaced on YouTube, marking the first time since the formation of the People's Republic of China in 1949 that a recording of a top-secret meeting of China's military command has leaked, right? The Times reported that the video containing the meeting's conversation, along with English translation of what is being discussed, appears authentic. To be honest, folks, we don't really need a leaked audio uh, to tell that China's preparing to invade Taiwan. We've been seeing what they're doing, okay? Um, especially the threats and the interference um, of China in Taiwan's waters over the last few months has been off the charts. But the reports have come out, again, that a top-secret meeting of Chinese military officials just occurred, all right? And there's a leaked audio, all right, that, um, that talks about their plans on how they want to invade Taiwan. You can go research this yourself, folks. It's all right there. Again, according to a leaked audio from a top-secret meeting of Chinese military officials, China may soon launch an invasion of Taiwan. Now, these things must come to pass, folks. Again, Jesus said that there would be wars and rumors of wars or threats of wars, all right? I mean, right now you're seeing wars and rumors of wars off the charts, but also threats of nuclear war. But we're also told that these things are the beginning of sorrows. It's going to get a whole lot worse during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, all right? However, uh, I wanted to share this with you guys again. China is preparing to invade Taiwan. I'm not going to try to guess when, all right? Some reports are saying by the fall. We'll see. But uh, I wanted to share with you again that there has been, again, leaked audio from a top-secret meeting of the Chinese military officials that China may soon launch an invasion of Taiwan. 
If you're watching this video right now, right, you're looking around this world and you're asking what in the world's going on, right? This is all in the Bible. Just look, look at what's going on, look at what the Bible says, and you will see several things are true. The Bible is real, the Bible is alive, Jesus is real, Jesus is alive, and Jesus is coming back, and he's coming back one day very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now, and that lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down, he would be born of a virgin, he became flesh, he dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this, heaven and hell are very real literal places and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, it's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am gonna tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very soon. God bless you all.